was really looking forward to it, you know? I was like, I was fucking fired up. I'm going to get try and get back into the footy. Um, because I just, I was away all last year doing shows. And then I was going to be home this year. I was like, fuck yeah, I'll get around the footy, get around the boys, really get into it. And now it's Get around the boys. Get around the boys. Yeah, the yeah. Boys. Yo, what do you think of NRL Island? What do you think of that? I think it's a great idea. I think it's great. I think there'll be turkey slapping everyone. It's going to be fantastic. So, so for those who don't know, um, the NRL uh, thinking of doing the competition on an island away from coronavirus. You just, I think uh, it's smart. The UFC is doing the same thing. Dana White's UFC's talking about buying a, a private island. Do your thing, man. Because people will get, man, I've been so bored at home that I've been buying lotto tickets because I can't bet right. on anything. <laughs> Right, <laughs> you gotta get. We gotta get. You gotta get in the esports, bro. That's that's some good gambling there. No, well, you don't gamble anymore. No, I don't gamble no. anymore. No. But I was thinking, you know, NRL Island, yeah. Mm. I think it shouldn't be a traditional type comp. I think it should be more reality TV. So, like after yeah. a try scored, they then get a challenge they have to do. Well, maybe or maybe I don't know whether we'd go full dating show. So it's only single lads, only single lads on the island. Right. And so, so we could, it's going to be... We could mix the female NRL with the male NRL. There we go. Now we're talking. NRL Love Island. <laughs> yeah, NRL, NRL Love Island. Yeah, NRL Love Island. <laughs> NRL Love Island. It's a great idea. There'll be challenges. Like before you kick off, you've got to eat it like a spider. Bit of footy for the boys, bit of romance for the girls, bit of food eating for the yeah. foodies. I think it's got everything. So they finish the game, they walk into the mm. showers, and then everyone's nude, right? And then they yeah. start. Well, it's how you bond. It's yeah. how you bond. You need to see a dick or a pussy. Yeah, that's how. Uh, Do you reckon that's yeah, the same Matt, thing for the NRL, the female NRL players? They're like they're on the bus going, "Show us your tits, show us your tits." It would be bush, bro. It would be bush. Spread your flaps. Spread your flaps. <laughs> flaps. I like to think so. That's what gets me off at night. That was for um, your dad's, but yeah, go on. Oh, are you gonna say? <laughs> I, I said, show us where your dad's quiet. I said, show us where your dad's been. Anyway, go on. Yeah, but you'd trail it off like a bitch. You're like, show us where your dad's been. Yeah, it's, it's comedic effect. Uh, <laughs> talking about, bro, I love it. bro, NRL Island. I think it's a win. And, and also, I think here's the thing. Here's the thing people get voted off, new people come in. So it could be, and here's the thing, you could vote someone off because they did a shit performance. Or yeah. if he's fucked over too many of the girls, they'll start teaming up an alliance trying to get him voted off. What about if there was like an intruder, like from another sport? Like, I don't know any basketballs. Mm. I was going to say, I was a gonna say Kobe Bryant, but that's probably not going to go down too well. <laughs> no, bro, a cyclist. And they put him in the front row to stitch him up. Lance Armstrong, <laughs> straight in the middle. George Powell. <laughs> That should be, if he wants to leave jail, I'm cool with it, but he has to have a hit up off of like a tap, off a 10 meter tap. He has to have a, George Pell has to have a hit up against Bruh. the blues. Just run at me. Run.